I just love that Ochi will just... But Wait, what? You've gotta be kidding me! D huh? What's up, Buttercups? This is a friendly reminder that this is my first and mostly blind playthrough of Pikmin 4. Please refrain from posting spoilers on upcoming areas, features, characters, or plot points that I haven't experienced yet. However, if you have any tips, tricks, or advice to share, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to learn. With all that said, sit back, grab a snack, and let's get back to Pikmin 4. Thank you! What's up, Buttercups? My name is Scale Tree, and welcome back to another episode of Pikmin 4! In the last episode, we got through sublevels 2, 3, and 4 of the Engulfed Castle. And I am so delighted to announce that we're finally going to get purple Pikmin. Before this episode begins, normally I would take a second, and by a second I mean a couple minutes, to go through new tips and tricks since my last recording session. But for the sake of everyone involved, I'm going to kind of blast them all here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. And I'm going to go over a couple individual ones later as they become more relevant. Because I, right now, I really just want to get to this. And I'm going to try that little trick about unplucking Pikmin midair. So... One, three, four, five. Boom! <gasps> Whoa. Oh. My. Goodness. Okay. I just got the biggest smile on my face. That little redo of the purple Pikmin's original animation after unplucking them for the first time. Oh my god. The nostalgia. Also, that trick worked like a charm. Anyway. <clears throat> These Pikmin certainly have some heft to them. Let me check the voyage log. There may be a relevant entry. The purple Pikmin. One purple Pikmin has the strength and weight of 10 regular Pikmin. What they lack in speed, they make up for in force. When thrown, their impact is powerful enough to emit gravitational waves. Yeah! They're only found underground, so I must handle with care. Woohoo! <laughs> They're ten times stronger than other Pikmin! How could they possess so much power? Well, it sounds like we can rely on them for some heavy lifting. Oh, you bet. My Nacho Bel Grandes, my Del Beefers, have returned. And I am so happy. I missed having purple Pikmin so much in Pikmin 3. Honestly, I missed having caves in general. Did I just... Did I only get four? Or three? <laughs> oh, that's pretty sad. It's okay. It's okay. This is all part of the fun of getting to know these controls. You guys will also be happy to know that I... Now, if I dismount, I have selected one of my D-pad sides to be an immediate switch to Ochi so that I won't futz with that <laughs> any longer. Anyway, anyway. Enough stalling. I'm way too excited to get to this. We've got a couple of these babies. <gasps> Wait, hang on. I wonder, are we gonna have any Matites in these? Because that would be sweet. Let's go. If so... Aw, oh, man. Not quite, but hey. At least we've got the familiar little pink flowers on the purple Pikmin! Oh, that's so good. Also, I want to give a small advanced apology for this episode if you might hear my dog whining in the background. I have like a new upstairs neighbor moving in. And all of the banging noises are kind of freaking him out. I've tried making him feel better, it's just not working, so... I might occasionally pause to give him some head scratches or something, because he's also a good boy. Anyway. Ooh. You ready, guys? Let's destroy this wraith.
This is a really good intimidating boss thing, too. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Am I just bad? Do I need to aim, like, right at him? Ah, there we go. Go, 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 go! Okay. Amazingly, no casualties! <laughs> that should have killed me. That was nonsense. Oh my goodness. Ah, Pikmin jank. Never failed to make me happy. Oh. Go, 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 go! Oh, and is it time? Water Wraith's pathetic escape? Uh-oh. Dude. You're not getting away from me that easy. Not after tormenting me this whole time. I like to think I learned a little something since Submerged Castle, and it's that Water Wraiths hate purple Pikmin. <laughs> Get absolutely nuked. Whew. Okay. Excellent stuff. I, that was probably a little sloppier than it needed to be, but whatever. Nobody died, and I have ten purple Pikmin to my name! Woohoo! Oh, I'm so happy. Guys, guys. They were probably my favorite Pikmin type to use in Pikmin 2, so this is just... <laughs> I'm, I'm radiating joy. I, I wonder if you can hear that. <clears throat> anyway, let's see what this ID tells us. Ooh, Osa from Planet Sigare, an archaeologist tracking the path of civilization across the universe. He hopes his discoveries will shock the world of academia. Ooh. Puss. A ruin excavation specialist? He probably came to this planet to do research. Excellent rescue work. Bring him on back here. I have some questions for him. Oh? Oh, might this be another new mechanic? Are, should we be, like, looking for data logs or something? I don't know. Complete and utter speculation. Okay, excellent. Oh, wait. Hang on. I already got a treasure. Oh! Do we have something buried here? Hey, Ochi. Sniff out some treasure, please. Where are you? Ah, there you are, boy. Follow that nose! Follow that nose. Where it stops is, I guess, right over here? Ah, okay. It's kind of interesting that all Pikmin can now see underground. I sort of like that as the whites, uh, the white Pikmin's unique, one of their unique talents. But that's okay. It's good that we have buried treasure back in general. I think it's fun to dig up <laughs> little items like these. Looks like we got some paint here. Purple, an appropriate color for this cave. Ah, I love seeing the purple Pikmin and their little silhouettes in here. Are we, are we officially done? We're done! Woohoo! Guys, we've completed the engulfed castle! I can hardly believe I did it. Oh man, okay. Let's get back to that surface. Oh my gosh. Part of me is tempted to just use the hell out of these new purple Pikmin. I'm so ready. Oh! Pup drive up. Speaking of which, I am a buffoon? I forgot I had a lot of pup drive, and I just never gave Ochi some new allocations, so that's gonna be something I do once I'm back at camp. I don't think it'll be in this episode, but in the next, or maybe the one after, hopefully. Fingers crossed. 
We got Quiche and Osa. All right, let's check out the names of these. Oh my god. Wow, look at all of these glorious treasures we collected while under such a time pressure. We have the Vanishing Cookie, the Ice Sword, the Hoop of Passion, ooh, a Juicy Gaggle, a Secured Satchel, I love that, that's a great name for a padlock, Crush Nugget, <laughs> for a Cherry Tomato? Uh, for context, for anyone who might be playing this for the first time, the Love Nugget is what they call a regular sized tomato, so that's amazing. Daughter of the Earth, Child of the Earth, Scaly Custard, Memory Fragment, Bottom probably? <laughs> Turn of Events Track, Difficult Choice Totem. Interesting. Insect Condo, Velvety Dream Drop, Glinty Circular Disc, Noble Goo, and a whole ton of creatures. More creatures than I usually collect, but then again, that's because most of these caves <laughs> ask you to bring Ice Pikmin, so I guess that's just one of the things that comes with that. All right, investigation complete. We love to see it. Now I'm never coming back, I guess, unless I want to farm purples, in which case I'm probably going to try to avoid doing that. <laughs> I don't know if they're as game breaking as they used to be, but I want to have myself a little bit of a challenge. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Purple Pikmin are the last Pikmin type recommended for the area? You're kidding. Oh, that's so good. Yes! Bring my boys! And uh, what I was going to say before I saw that, we did it. We made it up to this part of the map. I know that there's a treasure right there. I see it. I don't know why that isn't in the Rubber Cutie series. If you don't remember, I got that a couple episodes ago. I'm going to make sure I unlock these, like, right now. <laughs> the thuds of the purple Pikmin. Oh, that's so good. Bless purple Pikmin and their absolute beef. Anyway, now that I've unlocked this area for future me, Let's, uh, let's take a look at what we've got around here. A dweevil. Where's the... Wait, am I stupid? Where did the... Oh, <laughs> there it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, a hermit cromad. Ah, yes. And now we've got nectar for all of these Pikmin. I want to get plenty of purple flowers if I can help it. We are standing on top of a treasure? Uh, Ochi? Can, can you find this real quick so I know where to toss my Pikmin haphazardly? Okay. And with that, the area just got a whole lot more Pikmin- uh, well. Pikmin friendly in general, but purple Pikmin especially. Ah, here we go. Go on, fellas! Let's grab the good stuff. Oh man. The, um, I realize the base is extremely far from here. Hmm. Okay, tell you what. I'm going to put some Pikmin on this and. I'm gonna disband. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I have to go to the map screen to use go here. So I'm going to have Kip Kip go to base and switch on over. Grab up everybody. There we go. I'm I'm gonna get the hang of this. I want to get the hang of this. I want to do a good job. I want to get a good grade in Pikmin. Which is something normal to want and possible to achieve. Awesome. Okay. Now Kip Kip is at base. And I can switch back to Ochi. That's so much cleaner being able to just do it that way. 
grab this Rubber Cutie that apparently is not part of the Rubber Cutie series. And... Get annihilated, you horrible Bulborb. Please tell me I wasn't the only one who would hate whip tongues back in the day, because... My goodness. Hey, um, maybe I don't want all of my Pikmin on top of me right now. Is that something Ochi can do? Or do I need to switch to Kip Kip? Uh, Kip Kip? I'm gonna, t yeah, click the map. And head over here. Switch back to Ochi. And we may as well at least start digging these up. Phew. Yeah, something tells me I'm gonna end up spending the rest of the day just in this new part of Serene Shores. Oh, hi, Kip Kip! Welcome back! Always good to have the full party, with the exception of, of course, the boys that need to be going back to camp. The lads, the lasses, all that good stuff. Get some more blue Pikmin. Obviously a pleasure. Oh, oh, and this... Wait. Oh, I can just toss Pikmin up here. I thought I would need to use, like, an Ochi Rush. Never mind! Let's just grab that. And... I guess that's all the treasure treasure up here. Hmm. Okay. Well, since we're here anyway, let's unlock this Dandori challenge. Hello. These leaflings, they really are all over the place, huh? Dandori anytime! Dandori anywhere! Dandori over, and over, and over again. Aww. Wow, how many castaways have been turned into leaflings? Aww. Never mind, we need to rescue them all! Okay, well... Uh, checking where all of my Pikmin are... Hmm... I'm gonna quickly add some more Pikmin to this treasure. Just to make this a little bit smoother. Go on, everybody. And once that's back at base, I'm going to hop in here, and I think that's going to be... You know, the next event of this episode. We destroy the wraith, and we're gonna Dandori this leafling into the ground. I'm not gonna fuss too hard if I don't get a gold here, or a platinum, because I know I'll be able to do that later. And, okay, looks like everybody is either back at camp or on me, so let's go. Test tubs with blue and rock Pikmin. Okay, hey, we've got rubber cuties, we've got very clear bodies of water. Hmm. Okay, well, no time like the present to try it. Oh, it's been so long since I've done a Dandori challenge. A new Dandori challenge. Ah! I can't wait. This is my cave. You are here to train Dandori? Train, train, and drain some more. He had, like, a bubbly voice. Okay. Check this place. Let's see what we've got. We've got blue Pikmin over here, over here, over here, and way over here. There's a lot of treasures in this specific zone, so I might go that way first. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, Rock Pikmin. Oh boy. You know, actually, riding Ochi is probably going to be a necessity for this cave. I'm gonna let those guys take care of that Wally Hop for a little bit. Steady progress is also good, Dandori. One, two, three, four, five, ba 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 ba. All right. Ah! 
I just love that Ochi will just... But Wait, what? You've gotta be kidding me! D huh? Why did those rock Pikmin die? They're supposed to be immune to being crushed, right? Well... That sucks. Hang on. I think I'm just gonna reset. Because now that I know that, I need to change my strategy. Okay. Rock Pikmin? Okay, so he says Rock Pikmin are for transportation. That's a good tip. We can manage that. Alright, guys. Go long, start getting these. Are ten Pikmin enough to weigh down this Wally Hop? I guess? Yes. Oh, especially combined with Ochi. Okay, that's excellent news. Okay. Are these... Okay, they're all still working on that. That's good. Hmm. I wonder if there's... Is there anything I can have Rock Pikmin transport from here? I mean, at least we gotta love Rock Pikmin for their impact damage, right? Uh, can you guys start digging that up? Oh, that's... Oh, I only have two of you. That's... That blows. All right, little guys. Ochi, you will be perfect for that. Oh man, my goal is 110. I really need to pick up the pace. Peckish aristocrat nonsense. At least you are small. I will gladly take small ones. One, two, three, four, five. I think five is good enough for that for now. All right. I'm glad to see that I have a bunch of stuff in motion right now. Um, two more on this. Very good, very good. <laughs> oh my. Those poor wild rock Pikmin. Oh no, did I really miss this this whole time? That's- that's really sad. Uh, d, d dandori issue. It's okay. We will get there. The vision of labor is important for Dandori. I know. There's so much water in here. How am I supposed to have Rock Pikmin carry stuff if there's no good route for them to take? Oh. Oh, goodness. Okay. Three Rock Pikmin. Very good. Oh, goodness. I think I have enough Rock Pikmin for this. Yes. Oh, oh excellent. Come along, lads. We want everybody over as much as possible. Bronze? Okay, I think we're at least guaranteed bronze at this point, which is extremely reassuring. You know, I never really knew quite how to deal with those fish in particular. Oh, wait, wait! <gasps> I can use Rock Pikmin for this. Okay, okay, hang on. I need to get... My little rocks. Bronze metal. Okay, that's fantastic news. This means I at least have the castaway in the bag. Um, seven. Come on, Ochi. Okay. Do not leave Pikmin standing idle. What's else is left. Repeat Dandori for good practice. 
We've got more gold nuggets on the way. <gasps> oh! Wait, do I really have everything? I think I do. Yeah, just a couple more. <gasps> gold! Oh, that's fantastic! Oh! <gasps> oh my god! Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I might be able to platinum this yet. Oh boy. Well, uh, Rob Pikmin, I'm gonna need you back. Uh. Oh! Well, I'll, I feel very silly. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna be real with you. I was not expecting to platinum this. That's so fun! Oh man. I love myself a good Dandori battle. Or challenge, rather. So incredible. I feel dizzy. Then 30 pieces of raw material is your reward. Uh, good night. Don't worry, you're going to be next. Well, okay. I don't know if you're next in line to be cured. You've got two people ahead of you, but you're gonna get cured soon. You did it. Come on, let's get the castaway out of here, Kip Kip. Okay, excellent. Whew. What awesome work. And I know from experience that. Doing these challenges doesn't pass time in the overworld, unlike a cave. So we should still have a decent chunk of our day left. With all that leaf growth, there's no way to tell who this is, but it doesn't matter. It's our job to rescue them. We don't want them finding their way back inside that cave. Let's keep the lid closed as a precaution. All right. Bring back my babies. Okay, since I'm up here anyway, in this general vicinity with this base. I mean, I think it would be kind of a waste to travel all the way down here. So I'm going to start working on stuff kind of in this vicinity, so. All right. Excellent stuff. While I travel on over, my question of the day is, what's your favorite dog breed? <laughs> I don't really have one. I just, you know, like my dog the best. I think that poodles and poodle mixes are really fun. And that's exactly what he is, so... I guess I have a special weakness for that. Anyway. Oh, no, 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 no. Auto-lock! The auto-lock is somewhat frustrating. I must admit. Is it just decides not to work half the time. Come on. I mean, okay, I guess you could get started on that, but that's not what I wanted. Ah, jeez. Alright, well, at least we're going to build a bridge. That's going to be nice and quick. Ah. Wait! Can pearly clamp clamps be frozen? It looks like they can. Ah, here we go. I'm not giving up. One of these leafling IDs has to work. Today's not your lucky day, Colin. I regret to inform you. Nope. Still can't read it. I admire your dedication to trying to figure it out. Oh boy. Come on. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I don't know if that really helped me much. Oh yeah. <laughs> Purple Pikmin just work way better. <laughs> I mean, not like I'm surprised. Purple Pikmin are just the absolute bosses. Come to me, friends! Oh. Oh, what darlings. I love Pikmin. <laughs> Such a trite statement, but it they make me smile, you know? They fill me with 
a sense of endless joy. And I think knowing that purple Pikmin still decimate and wreck house. Oh yeah. <laughs> I am so glad they were buffed again. This makes me feel like I could totally get just several of them. Several. Oh my god. Several's an understatement. This makes me feel like I could farm a bunch from Engulfed Castle and completely wreck house. But, you know, I don't want to do that. I think that's too easy. <gasps> oh. 20 Pikmin. Okay. This, this, this can easily be arranged. I'm sure I can get this before the day ends. Especially if I toss on a couple more. Don't get lost, little buddy. Three more? Make it a nice 30? Okay, fantastic. What a satisfying way to end my day in Serene Shores. Engulfed Castle is done. Dandori Battle Platinumed. A whole bunch of new treasures and Sparklium obtained. I mean, does it even really get much better than this? I'm gonna sit back. Enjoy the beauty of this sunset, because this game is beyond gorgeous. <sighs> and let's relax. We're gonna be back at camp soon. I cannot wait to see the absolute magnitude of stuff that we got today. <laughs> I already read the stuff for Engulf Castle, so I'm gonna specifically look to read the Serene Shores ones. Ah, the camp keeps growing! I know I mentioned this before, but it's such a palpable sign of progress. Seven pup drive. Okay, all right, yeah. That's the first thing I'm doing next episode, is getting Ochi some, <laughs> some new features. Oh boy. All right, there's all the engulfed castle stuff, one at a time. Oh boy. Oh my goodness, that giant's fossil was 450 sparklium. That's awesome. Ring of Return Shield. Ambiguous Hostel. <laughs> I have to read the treasure hoard entry for that one. We got another stately rubber cutie. I guess it was just a duplicate and that's why it didn't count. Like maybe only originals count for completing a series. Uh, that's good to know. And the heroine's tier. Excellent. And we jumped to 57% done with Serene Shores. I honestly can hardly believe it, but what a time to be alive. <laughs> okay. Amazing stuff. I wonder, has Ochi's tail always looked like this? Uh, no, bro. It definitely hasn't. Space dog breeds can be very mysterious. Perhaps it changed as he grew. Well, he doesn't seem to be suffering from any health issues as of late. Let's just keep an eye on him for now. Hopefully it's nothing serious. Okay. So Ochi getting a leaf is a plot point. To what end? Your guess is as good as mine, but it certainly is interesting. All right. And it looks like we're going to start next episode back in camp for day 19. My big plans are to get Ochi some new moves, to do another night mission, and, uh... Oh. I guess now isn't the time for an outro. Hello? After many castaway requests, we're adding even more space to the rescue command post. Hopefully this will ensure all the castaways stay comfortable while they're here. Honey. We have enough space now that I'm sure we can fit anyone else we rescue while we're on this planet. Everyone you've rescued pulled together to give you this as a way of saying thank you. I believe it's more raw material. Aww. No. Yes, I am, Shepard. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, my outro went completely off the rails, but that's okay, because what excellent news. Can I? 
Oh. Oh, that's sweet. Look at the amount of space we have here at camp. Oh, this is so cozy. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Next time. Night mission. Pup drive. Talk to some folks back at camp. And time willing, we're going to go back and complete probably a full overworld day of Serene Shores. My goal will probably afterwards be to do the next episode with another cave. I know that the second most voted one was the mysterious one far to the south of the map. So we'll see about getting there sometime soon. In the meantime, I hope you all have a good day. Goodbye, guys!